If you follow this channel, you know that I absolutely love the AI platform that is Eleven Labs. It is amazing for providing natural sounding AI voices. Has tons of multilingual support, over 30 different languages. So if you're looking for a lot of creative flexibility and professional quality, Eleven Labs is the choice for you. I recommend it to a lot of the clients that I consult in AI. And with that being said, in this video, we are going to cover text to speech. I will show you the voice changer capabilities within 11 labs and we'll also play with the sound effect tools in there as well. So without further ado, let's dive in. So in a previous tutorial, we covered voices. Today, we're going to do text to speech, voice changer and sound effects. But just to re cap on voices, what you can do when you go to voice design is you can actually tell the platform what type of voice you want to create. So here I asked for a hysterical old Irish woman and I actually used the passage from Romeo and Juliet and then I asked it to generate it. And we can see here if we play some of the voices. So for instance, this one. These violent delights have violent ends and in their triumph die like fire and powder, which as they kiss consume. The sweetest honey is loathsome in his own delicious. You can tell it's doing a great job at having an Irish voice there. And then if I play another version. These violent delights have violent ends and in their triumph die like fire and powder, which as they kiss consume. You can see that there was a little bit of sacrifice of accent, but it was much more exaggerated and much more hysterical. So it's important to create a lot of generations until you find the voice you like and also play with some of these settings, which we covered in the previous video, which I will link in the description of this video. But now what I would like to focus on is text to speech. So if you go to the text to speech aspect of the 11 labs platform, you can see that you can write any type of text you want and then you could select the voice. So from voices, I selected Carter, the mountain king. And then something you can do if you scroll down here is there are different settings for this voice generation. So the speed is pretty obvious. If you ever have questions about anything, you can simply hover over the setting and 11 labs does a great job explaining it quite simply. For instance, stability, increasing stability will make the voice more consistent between regenerations, but it can also make it sound a bit monotone. On longer text fragments, they recommend lowering this value. So, and if you want to increase or lower the value, you simply click and drag. I usually have to play with the settings two or three times before I get it just right. But right here, what I'll do is I'll generate the speech. Socrates once said, the only true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing. So subscribe to Promo Ambition's YouTube channel so that you can indeed know nothing from someone who is great at knowing nothing and talks about nothing worth knowing. So let's now briefly go over a few options here. So on the right hand side where it says model, we can actually choose which model of 11 labs we want to use for this. If you want to see all models, you select show all models and then you could scroll through them. Now, the nice thing is, is that 11 labs suggests to us which is the recommended model for the voice that we're using. So for this one, Carter, the Mountain King, it's suggesting that we use 11 Turbo V2.5. The speed is self-explanatory. If the generated speech is too slow, simply speed it up here by toggling this forward and regenerate speech. Stability we already covered and similarity is basically if you bring it up to high, what that's going to do is it's going to boost the overall voice clarity and target speaker similarity between the generations. However, very high values can cause artifacts, which is like random noises. So adjusting this setting to find the optimal value is encouraged. I usually have to give this a go like two or three times before I'm happy with the generated speeches. And then over here, you have an option to reset the values to what 11 labs typically thinks is best. Now, after you've toggled a few things, what you can do is regenerate the speech. The cool thing is, as you see here, it says two free regenerations. So it's not going to be using up the credits on my plan. Now, this is important to point out. Speaking of credits over here, it says 29 X. What does this mean? 
This means that the rate for this voice, which it's going to charge us, is a multiplier of 29x, meaning we will be charged 29 times more credits for each request you make with this voice model. And that is probably because it's a really popular one and a lot of people are using it. So Eleven Labs has chosen to do that. Different voices will have a different rate. And you can always see the amount of credits that you have left. Again, I'm on the scale plan. I always recommend you start with a free plan and then you could move up from there. If you'd like, you can click on my affiliate link. That's gonna be linked in the comment section and the description. And that obviously helps out this channel and you'll be able to try Eleven Labs for free. There is a free version and then you could subscribe to one of the paid versions if you feel the need to do so. Now to quickly explain the bottom section, the 10 with the curved arrows, that's just if you have a long generation and you wanna skip 10 seconds ahead or rewind 10 seconds, you can go ahead and select one of these. The thumbs up and thumbs down is if you wanna give it feedback, like, hey, I really like this generation, good job, or I really don't like it. It helps these platforms to give it feedback because they do use machine learning to go ahead and evolve and adapt and become better versions of themselves. I mean, currently, pretty much all of these AI models are in beta mode. They're only gonna get better the more usage and the more feedback we give it, especially if it's accurate feedback. Here you can go ahead and share your generation. You can also download it and this carrot icon here is to just hide this panel altogether. and hopefully that explains the text-to-speech section of Eleven Labs to you. One of my absolute favorite features in Eleven Labs is the voice changer because you can go ahead and upload an audio file or a video of your choice. It just has to be up to 50 megabytes or you can even select this record audio option and just talk into your mic and then you can choose to generate the speech in whatever voice you desire to do so in. And the neat thing is, is you can overlay it over a video and it will do a perfect job. So let me show it to you right now where I will take a part of my intro into this video and I will actually change my voice and overlay it and you'll see how perfect it is. So check this out. If you follow this channel, you know that I absolutely love the AI platform that is Eleven Labs. It is amazing for providing natural sounding AI voices. So now we're going to explore the sound effects feature within the playground section of Eleven Labs. And here you simply describe anything. And then these options here where you have auto, this is how long you want the duration to be. I usually keep it on auto to let Eleven Labs decide how long. But if there's a specific amount of seconds that I want it to be, I have to specify it here. And also this 80% is the prompt influence. So how much do you want the model to follow the prompt exactly? And higher levels will result in more literal and focused outputs, whereas low levels will result in more creative, inventive, diverse responses. So it's my recommendation that you keep this prompt pretty simple and exact. Don't confuse it too much. So for instance, this would not be a good one. Two raccoons arguing over a dropped taco in an alley. I'll generate it and I'll show you what it provides. I did. The raccoons are raccoons. So as you can see, it's having a bit of trouble with that. However, if we use a prompt like this, so here I generated bowling pins falling, and if I play it for you, that sounds perfect to me. Here's an evil female boss laughing. <laughs> These are excellent. I actually really like these. And that just about wraps up today's topics that I wanted to cover, which is text-to-speech, voice changer, and sound effects. If you appreciated these, please stick around and subscribe to the channel because I will be covering studio dubbing, conversational AI. I will showcase how to professionally clone your voice and what type of quality that produces and how close it is to an actual person's voice. So if you wanna stick around for those, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It obviously helps me out. And also, if you can, let your AI friends know about this channel as well. With that being said, I appreciate all of you for sticking around for the entirety of this video, and hopefully I'll see some of you in the next one.